Hello everyone, it's Peter here, Pit Fister. How are you doing guys? Hello. So, in today's episode, we will check what came in because we don't trust the sellers. Now, when the sellers are sending something from the UK, most of the time it's fine. Whereas when we get orders from AliExpress, it's not always right. Let's see how lucky we were today because today we got some deliveries for some of the repairs we were waiting so now that's a that's a cable for lg phone lg was bought in the us usa and that's the charging cable okay so i didn't have this one in stock i've got for many samsung's apples and, and other stuff i didn't have for the uh, lg especially bottom up in the UK so yay and now came Messer Reader so that's ESR meter now I wanted this meter for quite a bit of time uh, and to be true I was always neglecting it okay so that's the meter mess 100 with table oh you can't I can't zoom in properly now it does came with a stand but I doubt there will be a a battery or batteries yes so ESR meter of this type comes with empty slot for two AA batteries let's get my drawer Ooh. okay let's get two AA batteries rechargeable ones and let's power it on okay the backlight oh well so now it's settings which I might not know let me screw that screw back in where's the over here oh and this one and let's get some capacitors now ESR is the internal resistance and that oscillates at 100 kilohertz that's what's written here okay 100 kilohertz I meant to buy it way way back and I just like thought ah, I don't need it yet I don't need it yet I don't need it yet and so on and so forth so keep in mind the shorter the cables the better okay so don't try to figure out how to extend these lids don't yes so keep it keep it better I could say that the backlight could be a bit better because you can work with it don't get me wrong but you can see that you see two LEDs are here so it's you can see the difference so that's on auto 10 to 100 R overflow so ohms okay OL that's open loop or open line oh and that was I've hooked it up and it was when you connect these two let's grab these crocodile clips together almost zero oh now went down to zero yes so it's taking its time uh, you can always zero it here as well I would say yes and now it's zero ref for 25 volts e cap good cap with low ESR okay so let us get it out let us get few caps which I've got down there so I will grab it and I'll come back now the only thing which I don't know is like do we have a, any difference for AC capacitors and or electrolytic DC capacitors okay so I will do it 
here first like that so minus to the minus and positive to this so that has zero point zero thirty three which is low low ESR okay some of them I bought with low ESR some of them are not I don't know should I discharge it this I can't feel if that was the one it doesn't look like it's charging a lot of current okay so that now look this one is not low ESR this one is high ESR 0.8 you see so now let me get glasses and let's check it's 100 microfarads and 400 volts 100 microfarads and there is 250 volts oh so it is okay standard worst case electrolytic capacitor esr table so it's 0 0.8 100 microfarads and above 250 volts so this is still okay so i was wrong it's still good okay still laughing you know probably no one have done that test to you <laughs> in front of you so i was the first one but now we've tested the uh, DC electrolytic capacitors, okay? Now these ones are 2.2 microfarads, 250 volts. These can work on AC. That's for the, you know, filtration of signal. So that's 470 probably are. If you would Google them. No, 225K, 225K. Okay, I was, I was wrong. So anyways, let's hook it up here. 2 to 5k you can google and that's look 0 0.1465 something like that and that's 2.2 microfarads so that's less than 10 and over 250 volts so or 250 well, that should be 2.5 and it's 0 0.1 but keep in mind this one is AC okay capacitor it's working on the AC line doesn't you don't put them on the DC line these well at least from my understanding you don't put them still nothing so it doesn't charge hope it's at least a bit funny for some of you because I like to test things <laughs> not always in the safest way as you can imagine the dodgy way and that's another capacitor again 0 14 okay this one what it is I've got no idea I will have to check the capacitance 104 forward slash 100 104 we know now yes who knows pico or nano comment down below if you know you should know by this by the color by the size and by the number what it is is it pico or nano for us for sure is not micro yeah okay so single click thanks for using okay and that's ESR meter so internal resistance for what else you can use you can use um, you can watch YouTube channel of Richard Richard is his, it's learning electronics repairs channel and Richard has a video on finding short circuits with this quite recently so you know the date for this video 
go back the last week or two and I think he had this video just recently so see mark uh, so what what you can uh, what you can do is you can watch five methods of finding shorts and one of them successful is with this type of meter uh, so it is good to watch that video if you're into learning fixing electronics but for today that's everything thank you for everyone who left a like or commented down below anything you can even comment with a emoticon of a poop still better than no commenting at all <laughs> why because it's helping me to grow the channel and thank you for watching see you in the next video bye bye